Okay, um, I was just looking at the weather and uh, <clears throat> guess what's uh, the forecast for tomorrow? Yep, more rain. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to drop this tonight. And uh, it's in the dark, and I've got my headlamp on, and so I don't have the tripod, and I'm not able to uh, set the camera down. So all of this will be one-handed. Um, so I've got uh, I've got the gold solution here. It's been it's been filtered really well. It's nice and clean, and I've got 25 grams of SMB dissolved in 150 mils of water. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and drop this because uh, if it rains on gold powder it's not that big a deal but if it if it rains in this beaker full of dissolved gold then that's a that's a big deal and uh, I may not uh, I got so much going on, I'd hate to forget something out of here and accidentally leave it out in the rain. So, let's go ahead and get it dropped. So, uh, I'm going to add this in, 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 in partial additions. I'm not going to just dump it all in. We're going to add it, add about half of it, and we're going to watch and see what happens here. See how quickly the, the gold separates out of solution? When the uh, when the solution is clean, get a good clean, fast drop out of it. and add the rest of it.
those color changes are very dramatic powder collecting right there it's looking like a very good drop to me drop is finished so let's uh, let's test it and see if uh, see if there's any gold left in it Any gold left in solution? Got something falling out of it. It's not bright red. Could be uh, just reacting with the. Uh, SMB, the sulfur dioxide gas, it's still in solution. But uh, let's take a look at the, the powder. It's nice clean gold powder. Okay, um, let me, um, <clears throat> Let me get a clean container to put this solution in because I'm going to find out what that, uh, what it is that has precipitated out of that. It doesn't look like anything is worth anything, but uh, I'll sure enough find out exactly what it is. And uh, let me get this... Uh, <clears throat> get the solution off of this powder and we'll get a better look at it. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, you 
can see the difference in this between this and what it looked like before. So, you know, that's a big difference right there. I don't know if this camera is giving it good justice, but um, you know, it's a bright tan color, and uh, it's always darker when it's wet, so uh, it'll be a lot lighter when it's completely dry. So this is not really ready just yet actually um, there's going to be some water rinses it's going to be some water rinses in there I'll probably do a wash in uh, ammonia if uh, <clears throat> if the water rinse stays murky cloudy I'll do a uh, I'll do an ammonia rinse to remove any little last bit of silver chloride. But uh, I think it was a real good drop. I think it's going to be a real good drop here. I don't want to guess as the weight, but, well, you know, I mean, we're talking about. Um, 25 mils of nitric acid, and like I said, some of it refluxed back into the solution. So, I mean, there's at least 25 grams or better in there. You know, an, an ounce is 31 grams. So, you know, we may be looking at about a an ounce of gold there. I'll know more about it when I get it washed up with a water. I'll boil it in water. We'll give it a good water boil. The uh, water removes any salts, any soluble salts. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of uh, salts that are soluble in water. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll 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 check that out and clean it up and boil it in water and <clears throat> we're going to make it as pure as we can anyway and this right here is just intriguing to me because I mean it's not really anything that I would say was precious metal um, actually this looks like a very classic false positive to me you notice the stain left behind is not really a good sign. The stain is the color that's left after after the solution pours away from where it was sitting. You can see where it was sitting, and then when the solution pours off of it, the stain is the color that's left behind. And there's no color left behind. So I know for sure that it's not gold. Uh, I'm not really sure what it could be, but uh, I'm sure it's not gold. I'm pretty sure it's not palladium. So, um, if anybody's got any ideas of what that might be, as far as the uh, stannous chloride test, uh, feel free to give me a comment and see if you've ever seen anything like it before. Alright, so the only thing left now is to... Uh, give it a, a, a boil in some water uh, see if we can't get some more salt out of it it looks real good to me it really does it looks real good to me looks nice and clean it clumps together see how it all moves together stays all in one big mass it's a real good sign of pure gold um, it's not just all individual tiny little particles flying around. It's it, pure gold loves to stay together, so it looks good. It looks real good. 
So tomorrow, if Lord willing that it don't rain, come a flood or whatever, I'm going to boil it and uh, clean it up a little bit more. And then we're going to dry it and weigh it and melt it. See what it comes out of it.